Jake Brown, Nelson Figueroa, Amazing But True podcast here with Tyler McGill, Big Drip. They call me Lil Drip because I try. Most of my That's chains are fake, you but uh, yours are real. Do you have like a whole closet full of chains? Like, what's your chain collection like? None, just my little two hundred fifty dollars. Sterling steel over. Mine might be more expensive than his, and yeah, I, I'm broke. Real. I'm a, I don't know if that's real. I don't pop the chain. I don't need to. Oh, <laughs> he hides the chain. Uh, excited to be pitching against the Padres tomorrow. Your family's here. It's got to be a cool, beautiful day, and uh, you know, a playoff preview potentially. Yeah, it's exciting. I mean, it's a good matchup, and you know, a team like this, you know, it's fun to go go out there and pitch against them. You know, you got one of the better lineups in the in the league. So I mean, this is what it's all about. It's going out facing the best, and, you know, competing. What's it been like getting a chance to actually work alongside some of your idols growing up? Yeah, I mean, it's a blessing. I'm, you know, I'm very, very fortunate to be in the position I am and learning from future Hall of Famers. And then on top of that, just the more veterans that we have in our pitching staff, you know, just I'm learning a lot and I'm just trying to absorb as much knowledge as possible about how to go about the game and, you know, scouting and everything like that. You're here sporting the Ghost Forkball t-shirt. I believe that's Athlete Logo. Shout out to them. They do a good job. Um, like, have you faced it yet? Have you gone up against it? And have you ever seen a pitch anywhere close to it? To the forkball? No. Not at all. No, the only thing I've seen that was pretty gnarly was Max Fried's curveball when I got oh. the hit in 21 against over Atlanta. Has he taught you? Have you asked him, like, hey, can you uh, give me some pointers on the grip and everything? No, no, not at all. That's not in my, my repertoire. You know, maybe one day if I need it. <laughs> Yeah, what's the one thing that you've taken away from working with either Scherzer or Verlander? Um, is it just one thing or is it just a, like a multitude of things? It's multiple of things. I'd just say more so learning whole scouting report kind of deal and how to figure out a game plan going into uh, that day for pitching, you know, pitching to my strengths, their weaknesses and whatnot, and just, you know, dialing that in and, you know, making a better game plan for that day when I'm going into pitch. Have you got used to the pitch clock? I've said on the podcast, umpires have like a new sign language for every violation. They're doing the YMCA out there. Have you got accustomed to this new pitch clock and all these new rules yet? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty routine, pretty simple. I mean, the only thing I'd say is obviously with no runners on, you can't step off or your violation. And I had it happen last outing where it was 2-2 count. I was like trying to shake to a pitch that I wanted and time ran out. I actually get marked for that. Or about it gets a one time per at bat kind of deal. I think pitchers should probably get you know one step off instead of the, just the two with runners on. Like okay, but like with no runners on, if you're trying to shake to a pitch, you're kind of out of SOL on that. Mets fans are drooling over Francisco Alvarez. What do you think of the kid so far? He's awesome. I love him. He's just uh, a bundle of joy. You know, he's got a great attitude and you know a lot of potential and you know a lot of a lot of good stuff going for him right now. That's all I got for Big Drip, man. Tyler, Thank Big Drip McGill. He's starting Wednesday, 1 o'clock. Mets Padres, amazing but true. Thanks for the time, man. Yeah, of course. Appreciate it.